Hi, this is Danny Sawaya with Tucson Strength and DannySawaya.com. I want to do a short little video on how to foam roll your calves. It's really important because when our calves get locked up, um, they don't necessarily feel tight, but they will restrict your mobility of your ankle. So if you know if you want to pull your toes back, your foot towards your body, that movement can be restricted. And though you might not feel that, um, what you might feel is some aches on your heel, your Achilles, or um, even some knee stuff. I mean, they can really go a lot of different ways. So keeping your tissue of your calf uh, pretty healthy is something I like to do, and I like to use a foam roller for it. So one of the things I use for it is, uh, I use the rumble roller. Um, it has little spikies on it, um, and I like using it for my calf. Uh, what I start with is I start by putting my foot on top of it, usually towards my heel, just above my Achilles tendon. And then I put my other foot on top of it to add the weight or to add some pressure. You don't, you shouldn't raise your hips up. Um, the only way that really, uh, you know, helps if you really light, light, light weight, but for the most part, that might be too much tension. So if you add this, uh, the other foot on top of it, you can start to just rock. And I start like on the medial or inside portion of my calf and I feel some nice little tender hot spots in there. And what I do is, if you can see in the video right now, is I'll find a hot spot and then I'll pull my toe or my foot towards my body, dorsiflex, and then I fully relax. You don't actively point, just let it drop and relax. And you can explore, kind of go the outside, the medial. If you find something hot, pull, 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 pull the toe, foot, and then relax. And you can start working your way up your calf. Like I said, for the most part, the medial portion seems to be pretty tender on myself and a lot of people I work with. Then we get right here. So I'm going to pull, actively pull that foot towards my body, and then relax. And you can work all the way up into the meat of your calf. Um, it just depends on the body and you know what you have going on. I, I definitely notice in this lower part where the gastroc and soleus all kind of meet the Achilles, right in here, this tends to be really tender uh, on a lot of people. And really working through some of that with the foam roller is uh, a really good way to start. The one thing you don't want to do is, I don't, you know, like people just kind of rock back and forth and just kind of bend their knee and just kind of do this just to say they foam roll. And a lot of times that's almost like a waste of your time. Uh, you know, if you're just going to kind of rock back. I have some different hot spots up in my upper calf. I can still work that pin and stretch and pulling type thing. So, uh, but that's a great way to start. You can put your foot on top of it, on your other foot, and um, it puts just about the right amount of pressure. If you feel that you are in such pain doing this to where you're gritting your teeth or you, it, it, you want to bring tears to your eyes, probably too much pressure. Um, and if you feel that there's something really severe, really painful, of course, go talk to, a, you know, have someone assess you, go to a physical therapist um, and get looked at. But like I said, a lot of times when there's, stuff with a squat or your running feels like the emergency brakes are on or you're getting some weird knee stuff or heel stuff this is a good place to start and uh, that adding that pain and stretch and that pulling of the foot towards uh, your shin or towards your body is a great way to get the most out of your foam roller thanks